everyone, wanted to take this time to go over the proper procedure on performing a top-down drag and drop in Apex CPS. For this demo, I'm using Apex CPS version 23.00.03. This method is used when you want to copy all of the information from one radio or code plug to another radio or code plug. This can be done from a portable to a portable, from a portable to a mobile, or from a mobile to a portable. In order to do this, you're going to start at the utmost of the radio that you are copying the information from. The top menu item, you're going to click and hold down and drag until you see a cursor. If you see the circle with the line through it, you cannot let go. So as soon as you see the cursor, you let go and you're going to see CPS perform some actions here. You'll see it did a drag and drop report. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check for any invalid fields. If there were any, you would wanna make sure to address those immediately. The next thing you wanna do, you should check this on every drag and drop you perform. The first thing is transmit power. You're going to go to radio wide, transmit power levels. I'll expand this window. And you're gonna to want to make sure that these transmit power levels either match the minimum and maximum defaults for the radio or the parameters given to you by the customer or engineer. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to check is the radio audio profiles. You're going to go to radio ergonomics configuration, radio profiles. And when I do this check, I start at the top menu so that I can see all the profiles in one window. And what you're looking for here is that in most cases, it does not say custom. It should say auto or normal. You can see that when I did the drag and drop, it changed this to custom. This is a common thing that happens when doing a top down drag and drop. There are multiple ways to fix this. You can click each one of these individually and change them to auto. If auto is available, that is preferred over the normal option. Or you can right click on a field and hit fill down or fill up to fill everything above or below. So I'm gonna repair this code plug real quick. And you wanna do and check every option here to see if there are any random custom fields. Once I've addressed my radio profiles and I have no errors, I'm going to move on to verify the WACN IDs. In order to do this, you're going to go to trunking configuration, trunking system. And I actually also like to click the top menu option here so I can look at all of the trunking systems if there are more than one. What you are looking for here is if it is a Motorola system, you want all Motorola systems will use BE00 or 781824. If it is another system type, you would have to get that information from the system engineers but you wanna verify that this doesn't say one or zero on any of the Astro 25 systems. Once you've checked those things, you should be good to go to use that code plug. Have a great day.